Welcome back to the John Madola Show here at WILK, the Wilkes University men's ice hockey team with us in studio this morning. Their head coach, Brett Riley. And uh, Brett, welcome into the show. Yeah, thanks a lot for having us here, John. Well, uh, what a game last night. You guys uh, got stung right at the end with four seconds on the clock, but a uh, great atmosphere. Two very good teams going at it, uh, and uh, proud to say that the, the Wilkes University Colonel uh, men's ice hockey team is a very good product right now, and uh, people are going to get an opportunity tonight to see them at Mohegan Sun Arena. It is a 6-30 game, so after the Penguins game today, uh, Coach, I'm sure you and all the guys are really excited about tonight's opportunity. Yeah, like you said, last night was certainly a fun one. We had great support from our fans. Um, certainly wish the result was a little different, but, you know, Today is a new day, like we told our guys last night, and we look forward to moving forward and playing on the big stage at Mohegan Sun Arena um, in front of another great crowd here and proving what we can do in this league. Utica last night, uh, the program's pretty darn good. A coach been there, I think, 17, 18 years, um, and they had a great year last year. They played uh, some top competition this year. Uh, talk about feeling like, okay, we're matching up against some of these teams pretty darn well. Yeah, it's um, it's fun to go into games and know we have a chance. Um, like I said, not the result we wanted, but we proved last night we can play with anyone in this league. Um, Utica being kind of the prize of the league, uh, defending champions. Uh, we're a bounce, a shot away from um, flipping that result. So um, we're a confident team that didn't shake us. And like I said, we're on to today here. We're going to talk to uh, Angelo Marcourt here, Coach. Tell us a little bit about him. He, he definitely has a fiery sense about him when he's on the ice. A lot of good energy. Yeah, Ange is a guy who plays the game the right way. He plays hard. He plays honest. Um, you know, we talk about playing a good 200-foot game, um, and he's a guy who brings toughness. He leads our team in hits right now, um, and I think that energy is contagious throughout our lineup here. All right, let's welcome in Angelo Morcourt here on the John and Dola Show. And, uh, Angelo, talk about uh, getting together just a bunch of guys from all over the country and uh, or other countries for that matter, and, and you guys find yourself all on the ice. What's the experience been like for you? Uh, it's been awesome. It's been awesome to meet people from Alabama to Michigan and kind of come together as one big family. And for you, that energy that you have and hitting people, uh, you get after it. Talk a little bit about where that comes from. Uh, yeah, I just try to bring toughness and bring energy every shift. Uh, if you can't score, you got to hit people. So simple. Let's talk about uh, your experience with junior hockey and, and where you played and how much fun that was and what that experience growing up was like because you mature a lot in that level. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I got to play juniors for three years and met a lot of really good people along the way and a lot of really, really good coaches, too. Let's talk about your relationship with your dad and why he's a role model of yours. Uh, he just worked. He's always worked really hard, and that's something that's kind of I've picked up on, and that's the way I try to play on the ice, just outworking people. How about the, the, the growth with this group of guys at Wilkes? So did you feel it early uh, when you guys first got on the ice? Uh, has it grown a lot since? Yeah, uh, I would say in the beginning it was a little rough on the ice, but we really came together, and a lot of team bonding and a lot of team activities have helped. And for you, uh, the opportunity tonight at Mohegan Sun, you're going to have a lot of fun, I'm sure. Yeah, I can't wait. All right. Well, uh, good to talk with you, Andrew. Look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you. All right. He wears number 48 tonight. So if uh, you head to Mohegan Sun Arena, that's uh, Angelo Marcourt wearing number 48. Let's get back over to Coach Brett Riley here from Wilkes. And uh, the next young guy uh, we're going to talk to, of course, all these guys have different backgrounds, is uh, Paul Simaluka. Tell us a little bit about Paul. Yeah, Paul is a guy who actually just played down the road here um, for the Knights, uh, NA team. Um He's anchored our back end, played in every game for us. Um, again, you know, one thing we talked about uh, is we look to recruit guys with character, and I think Paul's character has shined through this year. Um, you know, also a member of student government here at Wilkes. Um, plays tough on the ice and great character off the ice. All right, Paul Simaluka, welcome into the show here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, let's talk about the, how you fit in the puzzle there at Wilkes. You feel like you're fitting in pretty well? Yeah, I feel I'm fitting in uh, very well, you know, um, I'm a guy, I know my role, like I'm a defensive guy, and that's why I just try to bring night in and night out. Last night, the energy, I'd say, probably the first eight minutes or so um, was incredible. Talk a little bit about just trying to match their energy early, and then I think the confidence just started to build with you guys. Uh, yeah, you know, I think no matter who we play, we bring good energy, and I think uh, whoever we play, if, if they have good energy, we, we match it or better it every single game. And talk about some of your other guys there on, on defense. Uh, who, who are some of the guys that you play with that are, that are doing a heck of a job there for the Colonels? 
I mean, I think all of our defensemen are are doing well from Mike Gerska and Dylan Kuypers uh, leading it, uh, the de- the defense offensively to uh, Chris Delfara, uh, Jeevan Sadu, um, Scotty Aaron, uh, Scott Mueller. It just it just goes on and on. It's just a very deep defensive uh, defensive group, and uh, on any night, anyone could be the top guy. All right, uh, you're uh, enjoying uh, some math, a 3.5 grade point average. Uh, Emily, your sister, what's she up to right now? Uh, she's currently teaching uh, second grade. She just graduated Penn State uh, last year, and she's going to get her master's at Rutgers University. Awesome. And uh, how about your relationship with your dad? Uh, yeah, my dad, uh, he's more of like a best friend to me. He's always been there for me. He's really come from nothing and uh, just outworks everybody in in all aspects of life, and he's just been a strong role model for me through all the years. All right. We're number 23 tonight on the ice. Paul Simaluka, we wish you the best, okay? Thank you. All right. Continuing the conversation, Brett Riley, let's get back to you. And next guy we're going to talk about is uh, Tyson Arujo. And, uh, Coach, tell us about Tyson. He really brings a lot of energy uh, on the on the ice. He's got a great skill set as well. Yeah, for sure. Tyson and I um, actually go way back. Um, I was fortunate enough to coach him. Probably seven or eight years ago now when we started our spring and summer program, the Boston Generals. Um, from there, he was actually my first recruit at Albany Academy. And um, when I took over here at Wilkes, he was uh, kind of our first targeted transfer when um, you know he expressed interest. He played for Nazareth, in- interestingly enough, last year, um, only playing in one game and now being uh, one of the league-leading scorers. So I think that's one thing we looked for in our recruiting process was guys with redeeming qualities, and, and he might have not had the chances or opportunities at Naz that he may have wanted, um, but he's making this a really good situation here, not just in the point column, but in a leadership role, and uh, we're really proud of him in his sophomore campaign here. All right, welcome in. Tyson Arujo here on the Job and Dola Show. And uh, Tyson, you got Tyler, you got Tristan, uh, interesting combination of, of siblings in your family, I'm sure. Uh, there's some mess-ups there at Tyson or Tyler. And, um, talk a little bit about what it's like to play hockey and what you love about it. Yes, actually, uh, my mom always mixes it up to uh, all teeth. But, um, no, it's special. I mean, we're building something special here, and I'm really excited. We're, we have a good future, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Let's talk about some guys that could score for you. Uh, you're one of them. You have some other guys that could put the puck in the net as well to take us through that offensive firepower. Um, I mean, I think top to bottom of the roster, we all can score, and um, it really helps us. And But, I mean, we have some guys who can really put the puck on that. I mean, Tyler Barrow, Donnie Flynn, Nick Fia, I mean, they can really shoot the puck, and it helps a lot. Obviously, uh, the junior hockey experience for you take us through uh, all the years of hockey you have under your belt. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I played played a couple of years after high school, and it just it just helps you mature as a mature as a player and uh, as a as a person too. And it was it was a really enjoyable experience. Tyler and Tristan, two brothers of yours, uh, tell us about both of them, what they're up to. Um, actually, they're both here right now for the games this weekend. Uh, they made the trip out; it's about a seven hour drive, so I'm grateful that they're here. And uh, how about your relationship with your dad and what he's done for you? Yeah, uh, like I, um, like I said, he hasn't missed a game either, so it's uh, it's pretty great. He always pushes me to be the best person I can be, and um, he's a great role model in my life. Two young coaches you guys have, but uh, there seems to be a, a a great learning curve quick as you guys put it all together on the ice. Talk about uh, what those two guys are like. Um, it's good. It's re- it's really good because they're so young that they can relate to us really well. We can relate to them. Um, there's three or four year age gap and uh, I mean we can just really relate we can talk they understand the position we're in we understand the position they're in and uh, it really helps all right what number on the ice tonight for you Tyson uh, number 10 number 10 all right we'll see him flying around the ice tonight for the Wilkes University Colonels at Mohegan Sun Arena we come back we got two more players to talk to continue the conversation with head coach Brett Riley from the Wilkes University men's ice hockey team let's take a time out head out to our local state farm insurance agent Matt Daly break like a good neighbor Matt Daly in Kingston is there we'll be back on WILK